is a high status man negative or positive? Do you ever see some high status dude who's fucked up all these bitches, made a ton of money? Negative ever? It's very uncommon. It's very uncommon. How can you be negative when you have two hot blonde girls who just suck your dick? Right? It's kind of impossible. I was feeling kind of like depressed last Saturday. And then at the end of the night, I'm like, Michael, I felt really good. He's like, well, it's kind of impossible to be upset if you just two hot 18 year olds. Like, it's, and both these girls were like, actually, I can show you them. Drop dead gorgeous. Like, Jesus fuck. I'm like, I feel like I won the lottery, dude. You know, I felt great after. I'm like, oh, life ain't so bad after all. <laughs> okay? If you were making out a girl, you should be able to get laid, bro. Come on. Right? But you got to go through all the work. You got to understand what you're doing because there's no room for error. Because do women qualify or do they disqualify? Disqualify. She's not going to look for a reason to fuck you. She's going to look for one reason not to. Do you guys understand? You know, if you have game that kind of beats out any possible stereotype, beats out any type of like statistical, uh, you know, probability or whatever, like game, you literally like rip apart the matrix and bend reality of your will. But there's no excuse. You can use the four pillars of communication and you read the body language of the girls. You're gonna like look, be like, what's she doing right now? Does she look approachable? Does she look available? Does she look like she's someone who wants to get on right now? Does she look like she wants to go on the estate? You walk up to her and you're gonna push conversation. And she's gonna wanna like brush you off, you're gonna knock, let her go. You're gonna just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, right? Until you find a social hook point, okay? And you're gonna do this in your day game. You're in the grocery store and you're like, oh my God, what kind of kombucha? I, I wanna buy this like lemonade. Do you have a, do you have a recommended issue of lemonade? Pick, oh, where are you from by the way? Oh, cool, I'm from fucking uh, you know, the States or I'm actually originally from Puerto Rico. I'm originally from Australia. Oh, good, good day, mate, how you going? Right, and you just like keep you know, the thing going and you find like something, you just talk, 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 talk until you find common ground. That's very, 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 very important. Okay, you're gonna talk until you find common ground. Okay, and you're gonna be like, oh, like what are you up to right now? And you're gonna like screen for logistics. Like, oh, cool, and if she seems like she's available, you keep talking, you talk for like five minutes, you're like, wow, you're actually really cool. Like, I'm so happy to meet you. Like, so I'm not interrupting you. You hook it and you try to do like, let's go get ice cream, right? After you get ice cream or maybe you like go do drinks. Let's, I know sick bar. You go, go on Google Maps real quick. You like so look at like a bar and you go to like pub, get, get a couple of beers. Let me ask a question. If you're day drinking with a girl and you, she's having a couple of beers or whatever and you have a couple of drinks together, a glass of wine, and you, know, you start having this heart to heart conversation and then you got comfort built. She's got good logistics, she's available, she's not doing anything later. And then after like an hour talking, be like, you know what? <laughs> I really like you. After an hour talking, you just drop that on her. You're like, fuck. I just realized, like almost like epiphany, like, I just realized I fucking really like you. <laughs> after an hour talking to her, you're having drinks with you, and she'll be like, fuck. Because remember, people feel we feel. Say it. People feel we feel. Feel, What's feel. What's that called? Does anyone know what this is called? The law of state transference. Say it me, the law of state transference. Right, your brain has brain mirror neurons where it's like people are gonna feel what you feel. Like uh, imagine, if, imagine if like I'm walking the street, I'm like, start running, I'm like, ah! I start running. Everyone's gonna, what, what's everyone gonna do? What's everyone gonna do? They're like, oh my God, what's going on? Right, correct, yes or no? Dude, so I was in my bed uh, not too long ago with my friends, right? Just had a big ass orgy, waking up, brings a coffee bed, there's a here, there, another there, right? Like I wake up, there's three girls in my bed. They can bring coffee, they clean the whole room, I'm like awesome. I'm laying in bed, drinking coffee, we're about to go out on a yacht or some shit. Right, I take coffee, I spill it on my balls, and I start screaming, I'm like, oh my god, fuck my balls! And one of the girls starts screaming, ah! She thought there was a spider, right? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? It's called brain mirror neurons. People feel what you feel. So, if you're talking to a girl for an hour, then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, I just realized, I really like you. <laughs> I actually find you really attractive. You're kind of like staring at your tits. You make it obvious you're like checking her out. You make it very obvious. Say it with me, make it obvious you're checking her out. Make it fuck her with your eyes. You want to literally eye fuck her, right? You don't think she's going to feel what you feel? Is she going to feel what you feel, yes or no? Yes. Are you going to end up getting laid from that, yes or no? Probably. Most likely. If she's comfortable, there's good logistics. As long as your body language is good and you're smiling and you're confident and you're projecting your voice and you got good fashion, you have half your shirt unbuttoned so you look like a fuck boy, your sleeves rolled up and you're like, Players push back and you're like, big smile, open body language. So four pillars of communication. But what are they? Does anyone remember? Voice. Body language, what else? Voice, Voice. what else? Proximity. Proximity, what else? Face. face expressions, you got it, right? So if face expression, eye contact, smiling, the body language is good, your confident chest out, you know, but also relax, relax arousal, where your voice, your tone out is good, your speech is slow enough, it's kind of seductive in your voice. Sometimes when I'm talking to all, I'll purposely make my voice raspy, I'll be like, hey, honestly, I really, Really like you. Like very quiet and low and like seductive. And then they're like, they get turned on from that. Isn't that so crazy? Or what I like to do, the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning, first thing I do is I'll send like a Snapchat video, I'll be like, hey, I miss you. Cause like my voice will be all like, uh, like 
like groggy girls for whatever reason they love that and they think it's super hot women love like that groggy raspy voice they think it's super 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 sexy i don't know why but they do okay they just do women think like that tonality we're like uh like almost like you have a cold like try it like if you have a girlfriend and whenever i had a girlfriend you call her when you're sick and they're like fuck i'm turned on right now by your voice it's a real thing it's a real thing okay you, you've experienced that it's a real thing so it's teaching how it works right so you apply that type of voice, body language, facial expressions, et cetera. You go on an instant date, right? You have full self-esteem, full self-love. You're just giving, 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 not trying to take anything. Remember, comfort, which is six intent. If you want to get laid, if you want to hook a girl, if you want to lose your virginity, if you want to break your dry spell, whatever it is, comfort, which is six intent. Gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Justin Mark, international dating coach, relationship expert, and VIP lifestyle development coach. I've been teaching dating, soul skills, and day game for 10 years in 50 plus countries, six continents, with thousands of guys in person, just like you. And I love teaching guys this stuff. So if you like this video, please make sure to do me a favor and leave a thumbs up on this video. I really do appreciate that. Now, if you want to follow me more closely, you can go ahead and follow me on my new Instagram, Drunk Justin 2 and watch my daily Instagram stories where I'm always partnering with hot girls, doing exclusive events, crazy, crazy shit on my daily Instagram stories. Make sure to follow me there. You can see me traveling around the world in real time, doing amazing things and teaching guys like you in person every day on my Instagram. And you can message me on my Instagram as well. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram and message me there. And if you want to actually call me, you can call me at justinmark.com. We'll do free consultation calls. You can actually call me. And we'll do a free discovery call where we can get you on the right action plan to change your dating life and your social life at justinmark.com. And if you guys want to dig deeper and watch more of our more exclusive content, go to wingmanpodcast.com and watch our Wingman Podcast on Spotify, Apple, and all platforms. And we'll see you guys very soon in a new video. My name is Justin Mark, and I'll talk to you very soon. Peace out.